Welcome to Astro Forge. This will be the world's first commercial deep space mission ever attempted. So here is one we have from Argentina. This asteroid itself contains about 1% iridium by mass, just to give you a sense. That's about 10,000 times higher than any ore grade we have on Earth. This is the Astro Forge clean room. Over here, we have our head of integration and assembling one of what will become our actual flight cameras. This will be integrated onto the vehicle and travel to deep space. This telescope is set so that it's focusing uh, a pinpoint of light through this pinhole. It is focused when we put the camera here, so you'll see really like one pixel's worth of light. This is just the model we're looking at. It's a 100 kilogram spacecraft. It's about two meters across, fully deployed with solar. And you can see at the bottom, the thrusters that will be firing. This is an exact replica of the refinery that is currently orbiting us in space at 17,000 miles an hour. This one's going a little bit slower. Inside this refinery, we store a sample that we created here, consisting of iron and platinum, to the concentrations that we believe an M-type asteroid is. That's really for us to, to say that this refinery has worked, that we've extracted platinum from this sample, because we're not re-entering this satellite. It's what you have to do for space to make sure you get it right. We have one chance. We'd rather go slow and make sure we get it perfect than to screw it up. This is a 20 megapixel imager that has now an 18 year lifespan for deep space. It has enough processing power to process 20 frames per second of full resolution images and do the asteroid tracking algorithm. Over here we have our, our docking leg test bed. We really wanted to understand the kinematics and the motion and, and the capabilities of the motors that we have. From far away, these are gonna be very, very dim objects that we should barely be able to detect. As we get closer, that brightness will start to increase and we can track it. And that's the object that is what we will be traveling towards. Here is one of our laser test systems we're using. We have to be simple with these techniques. We can't do like landing on an asteroid, drilling in and then using conveyor belts. That's all great for, you know, mid journey to generate when you ask it to or artists to draw. It's not realistic of how we're gonna mine on an asteroid. We have to do a technique that's built for deep space. And that's what we do here. Uh, you can see the vapor flow coming off. That is pure destruction of elemental iron. <laughs>